Hi guys, it's Melanie and I blog over at ItHappensInABlink.com and I'm happy to be with you here today as part of the Crafty Hangouts team again this month and our theme is crafts that can be completed in 10 minutes or less and all of us have ordered our um, project supplies from ConsumerCrafts.com. If you're not familiar with Consumer Crafts, they are an excellent online resource for ordering different crafting supplies. They have so much variety. Um, whenever I go to order from there, it takes me forever just to look at what I want to get because I love everything that they have so much but today I am already thinking spring I'm already thinking Easter and so I'm going to show you how you can quickly make this chicken wire Easter themed decor in 10 minutes or less and the first thing that you are going to order is you're definitely going to need this chicken wire frame since I've already painted mine I do want to show you what it looks like when you order it from the site so I'm going to do a quick screen share so that you can see it. Um, this is the consumercrafts.com website and um, you're looking for the chicken wire frame. It's nine and a half by 11 and a half inches and it does come unfinished. So you can um, customize it to whatever color you um, are, you're wanting it to be to match with your Easter decor. So once you um, get your frame in, then you're gonna paint it. And now I'm gonna switch over to my other webcam so that I can show you products that I've used in detail. This is one of the projects. Once you've gotten all of your items together, you're pretty much going to just piece it together. Um, again, like I said, I'm using paint. I'm using this um, chalky finish paint uh, in white that you can also order from consumercrafts.com. And I really like this chalky finish paint because you don't need to use any kind of primer or anything special on your unfinished frame before you begin. You can just go straight on the frame with this paint. And then you'll also need a, about a one inch paintbrush. You'll need these mini clothespins. And then you'll also need your shapes. You can do bunny rabbits. I'm ch choosing to do Easter eggs. Um, and then you just, however you can get these. Um, I cut mine out with a Cricut. You might have a Silhouette or a Sizzix or another cutting machine where you can cut your shapes. Um, but I cut mine out with my Cricut and I am using this um, pack of cardstock that I ordered from Consumer Crafts. It just has a lot of bright, springy, Eastery colors. And I can kind of flip through the pack here just to show you. Um, the colors there. And so once I got the paper in, I just used my Cricut to cut out the egg shapes. And these are, if you're wondering, two inch egg shapes. So uh, once you have your shapes and your painted frame, then you just want to grab one of the mini clothespins. And I'm just putting all of mine on here diagonally. And then you're just going to clip it on with the clothespin. And you're done. You're just going to arrange them all on there until you get it looking the way that you want it to and then that is actually it it's ready to go up so let me switch back over to the other screen so my one of my favorite things about this is that after easter is over um all you have to do is take your shapes off of the clothespins and then you can do another shape for another holiday and you have a piece of interchangeable decor that's great for a mantle or a table setting this frame does have hooks in the back that you can use if you want to put it up on a wall um, but it's also definitely great for just a mantle or something so um, outside of the paint drying time you are looking at less than 10 minutes for this craft if you add in the paint drying time um, you can still get it completed in an hour or less I got this um, definitely finished uh, within my boys nap time so um, it's a quick and easy craft if you have a lot of kids running around like I do or if you're just a really busy um, it's one of those things where you just get all the pieces together and assemble it and you have a lovely piece of homemade um, decor for your holidays. So um, thanks for crafting with me today. I hope you'll check out the other bloggers that are participating in the Crafty Hangouts this month. They'll be um, showcasing videos throughout the first few weeks of March um, that are quick and easy crafts in 10 minutes or less. So thanks for crafting with me today. Bye.